Gamers, I can't even begin to express how excited I am for Mario Strikers Battle League. The first two games on the GameCube and Wii were awesome, and we had to wait 15 years for the next game in the series. But we're finally getting one, and it looks awesome. The gameplay looks great, the gear you can equip looks cool, and oh my, those hyper shots look outstanding. I've been wondering how to properly hype up the game on this channel. I played Rocket League for the first time a couple weeks ago, this race car soccer game. If you want to watch that stream, it'll be in the description. But after some thinking, I'm actually going to look at another game series that has soccer stuff in it, Mario Party. If you've played a Mario Party game, you'll know there's at least one mini game in there that's based on a sport. It could be basketball, baseball, hockey, or something else. But to help get the soccer vibe going on this channel, I'm going to rank every mini game in the Mario Party series that's based on soccer. This list will be based on how fun the mini games are and a few of my personal preferences. So without further ado, let's -a go At number 6, we have Keep Away Mayhem from Mario Party 10. Maybe it's just me, but I tend to keep away from this minigame whenever I play Mario Party 10. Three players are standing in a triangle shape on a soccer field, while the single player is stuck in the middle of them. The players on the outside have to kick a ball among the three of them and keep the middle player from intercepting it. If the single player can knock the ball from one of the other players, or when the ball is being passed, then they win. While I like the concept of this minigame, the issue is that it's very easy for the three player team to win, because the single player has so much ground to cover and will have to resort to guessing where the ball is in order to win. I guess the minigame kind of makes up for that since the single player only has to deflect one ball, so that makes this slightly more fair, but 1v3 minigames like this aren't that fun when it's almost entirely one-sided. This minigame isn't bad, but it's not that great. At number 5, we have GOAL! From Mario Party 4. This is another minigame that kind of leads on one side having an unfair advantage, but it's a lot more fair here. One player is defending the soccer goal while the others are trying to kick balls into it. The three players on the outside have to kick 10 soccer balls into the net before time runs out, but if the single player can successfully block all of them, then that person wins. This is another minigame that's not very hard for the three players to win, but the single player has a surprisingly diverse moveset by being able to jump and dive for the balls. This minigame would also also come back in Mario Party the Top 100 on the 3DS and Mario Party Superstars on the Switch. My favorite version is easily the Switch version. Not only does it look the best, but it feels the best to control. I still think this minigame is just fine, but I definitely prefer this over Keep Away Mayhem. At number 4, we have Soccer Brawl from Mario Party 10. Apparently, that tiny-ass soccer ball wasn't enough for Nintendo, so they decided to make it several times bigger, and they gave everyone else giant balls too. Don't take that out of context. This 2v2 minigame is your typical game of soccer, but now everyone's rolling around on a ball and trying to bump the main soccer ball into their opponent's goal. Because of how tiny the arena is and how big the balls are, it allows for some crazy action to happen, and it makes the players strategize how to win. I also like how everything has a little bit of bounce to it, so moving around becomes more frantic. I will admit that the bigger size makes it harder to score a goal than I would like, but that's a minor hindrance to an overall solid time. In fact, we've officially made it to the fun soccer minigames on this list, so let's keep this momentum going. At number 3, we have Shell Soccer from Mario Party 9. When you don't have a soccer ball to kick around, why not steal a Koopa Shell and use it to harass some Goombas? That sounds like fun, and it is. It's another 2v2 minigame, but now we're kind of playing actual soccer. The players have to try to kick a Koopa Shell over to the opponent's side of the field and knock out all 7 of the Goombas on that side. Whichever team knocks out all the opposing Goombas out first wins. While this might not look like much, there's actually a lot of action that happens here. Once again, the small size of the field allows for the players to be a lot more rough with each other, and you can knock out multiple Goombas at once, so it's fun to strategize the best place to stand to get a better shot. Also, I just want to say that the remix Super Mario Bros. music for this minigame is fantastic. I'm also really glad this minigame made a comeback in Mario Party Superstars. These versions are both equally good. The Switch version looks better, but the Wii version has the better music.
At number two, we have Just For Kicks from Super Mario Party. This is probably the most soccer feeling minigame in the entire series, but that's definitely not a bad thing. This is technically another 2v2 minigame, but Super Mario Party has this feature where you can get teammates to help you win the game. So if you build up your team enough, you'll definitely win this minigame. It's literally just soccer, where you pass the ball to each other and try to kick it into the other player's goal. However, we got no goalies defending here. Now with how many players can get thrown onto the field, this minigame can be pure chaos, and I love it. People are running, passing, and tackling all over the place, which makes this minigame incredibly fun. It may be just a normal game of soccer by the end of the day, but it has enough to make for a surprisingly awesome time. But against all odds, there's actually a minigame that can top it. And at number one, we have Soccer Survival from Mario Party DS. I'm honestly shocked by how amazing this minigame is, and you don't even play actual soccer. Instead of trying to kick the soccer ball, the soccer ball is being kicked at you. The players have been shrunk down, and this Goomba over here is kicking the soccer balls to try and hit you. What you have to do is run around the field and avoid getting knocked out until the timer runs out. This probably sounds boring at first, but the soccer balls move by really fast, and they'll even curve around or stop and then go to psych you out. This game actually forces you to pay attention to the top screen to see where the balls will go. Simply running around isn't going to help you. Maybe I'm putting this minigame too high, but I'm an absolute sucker for these survival, last man standing minigames, and this one delivers a minigame that's fun, frantic, and captures that Mario Party chaos perfectly, making this the best soccer minigame in the entire Mario Party series. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure to give it a like and let me know down in the comments which one of these mini games is your favorite. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you'll know when I post more videos like this. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.